which one of you guys is most like your character on the show? Mm. Uh, I, we, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> none of us, really. I mean, I, none of no. us. You could chop a camel right in the hump and drink all of its milk right, out, right off the tip of this thing. It is so fucking funny what he's talking about chopping a camel in its hump and drinking its milk. <laughs> I was like, this dude, who is this guy? Like, who comes up with something that funny that fast? It was probably a combo of me not knowing whether or not there was actually milk in there. <laughs> You know, like like doing the riff, but yeah. also being like slightly unsure. Like, is it water? Is it milk? Is it just like, <laughs> is it just a cellular growth? What's in there? What's in that Campbell's up? I don't actually know. Is that a French press, sir? How much for that fine looking French press? We don't need a French press, Dennis. Well, what do you expect me to do? Drink no gas station coffee all the way to the Grand Canyon? I don't think so, asshole. One thing I, I did uh, pick up on was the French press, G getting the French <laughs> press at the Italian market, because yeah. that came from a very specific um, I did a road trip from Alabama to Los Angeles. I was like, you know, driving across the country, you gotta have, you gotta have coffee, right? But the coffee at like gas, this is before there was a Starbucks at different exits, right? So the coffee, you could really only get coffee at like gas stations and stuff like that. So I was like, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna bring my own coffee grounds and bring like just a little personal French press and I'll stop at the gas station, I'll fill up. I'll go inside and I'll ask where the hot water is, you know, for tea and stuff. And I would just go in the gas station and I would put my own coffee in the French press and I would fill it with water. Excuse me, sir. Then, where's your hot water for tea? <laughs> you know, I that's the glenniest glen shit I've ever yeah. heard. What if we have separate bathrooms for separate bodily functions? Not like a piss room and a shit room. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, we just put very simple labels on the door. Room number one for when you gotta empty your balls, and room number two for when you gotta empty your butt. Pee is not in your balls, but yeah. I'm really Speaking good. Speaking of your balls, you need to go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> That's my bladder. I don't yeah. know where the pee comes from. <laughs> Touch your toes. What am I, a gymnast? You're gonna lift your leg, you choose the leg, and then just, yeah, hands down by your side, arms down by your side, no swaying, nothing to help your balance. And now you're holding that for 30 seconds. Oh. And you're not Two. using anything else. Three. And you're not swaying. Four. There's no, a little sway. On. There's a little rock. Five, He's got that. Six. If you're dead sober, that's impossible. You're There's off a little balance. sway in there. No, that's okay. I eat it. Come on. That was good, though. That was very good. You're telling me that a, that a dead sober person can stand there on one leg. Fuck that. What are you, a gymnast? It's gonna be cool, man. We can do. We can totally do this. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I think. I think we should actually split up in teams, and then when we find something, we come. We come back together, and we put. We use the collective brain power. I'm sorry, Frank. That gum chewing is insane. What? The chewing of the gum. It's happening it, right in my ear. It's ludicrous. That that is the most irritating sound on earth. What makes Glenn the most angry? Okay, I wrote. Uh, chewing loud. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're totally, both of you are, it's not what I wrote, but it's 100%, okay. you're 100% okay. correct in that those things make me angry. Glenn doesn't sip as much as you slurp. I do tend to slurp. <laughs> you're a slurper? I, I, He's a slurper. I admit that I am a slurper. You're right. You're totally right. And it's so hypocritical too, because I hate mouth noises so yeah. much. <laughs> I shall unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves. Get fucked! Oh, that, idiots! That, that, Sandwiches, that, that. idiots! Yeah. So many things make me angry. And I remember thinking like, well, this is just really fucking irritating. You were irritated. <laughs> I can get worked up about it, just about anything. <laughs> just, you know, if, you, if that's what you're looking for. I don't know how to express myself unless through anger and personal attack. But Fuck I'm, you both. No, 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 no. You know you're wrong. No, I don't. You wrong. That's you are crazy. Wrong. No, that's you're crazy. crazy. You're fucking, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Is it freezing in here? All yeah, and it's it's freezing. The air is blowing directly on us. What? I mean, what is happening? The vent. Well, do we turn that yeah, on? Yeah, the, vent, the vent is blowing right on me. You have like four articles of clothing, and that's it for years and years and years now. Did these pants tear naturally, or is this, the, this is a they... natural knee tear? Yeah, because they do, the rest of the jean looks it's pristine. It's falling apart. I've been, if you look closely at the podcast, I have worn them most every episode. <laughs> and uh, as I tend to do. Hey, buddy, can you name an animal that we eat but doesn't eat us? Oh, easy. A sea urchin. A, a what now? 
sea urchin. Glenn says 90% of the time he eats healthy and 10% of the time he eats whatever the fuck he wants. It's a 10% day. So what is Glenn eating? I think if you splurge, you're going to get just a, just, a, just a hamburger and french fries. You want to know what I wrote, Rob? Mm. A burger with french fries, but mm -hmm. never a Coke. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think you guys should both get a point for this because that's what I was literally writing when I scratched it out. And I actually think that your answer is more right than mine. Uh, you overthought I, I, it. You overthought it. I overthought, you overthought it. it. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is what I wrote. I wrote a turkey sandwich with, with extra mayo and fries. and fries. Start thinking of a steal because if we get this one, we win the game. All right. All right. All right so. What's the question? Things people are afraid of. That's still the question? Yeah. How do you not know how the game works by now? If you guys were to die suddenly, what would you leave me? What would Glenn like? You could recut that episode and take the gunshots out. Oh, oh wow. that would be really nice. Hey, look, for you, buddy, since you're dead and whatnot, we'll go back and we'll we'll pull those, we'll pull that old uh, footage and we'll have it recut for you. Well, I'm not dead. You're dead. You're <laughs> leaving me something. Right, I'm I alive. Right, I still don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know how it works. Right. You died, I died right. and you left yeah, me yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm alive. Not, alive. You, don't, you don't leave the dead man something. So, the Thunder Gun series has always been groundbreaking in so many ways. I mean, notwithstanding, the recognition of an inequality that, that was present in cinema since its beginning days, the objectifying of the female form. I mean, with Thunder Gun, a great injustice was rectified, okay? Fairness of the sexes, a unification of the human condition. I'm sorry, is this still about the flaccid penis you'd like to see? You're goddamn right. Yeah, yeah. We, we wanna see it. Yes, we wanna see the man's dick, but like, I guess what I'm saying is, is it's no longer just about gratuitous boobs, it's also about gratuitous penis. I mean, Thunder Gun was about progress. I said, give me dong? or give me death. I saw the article today, we're having a, a penis renaissance. There's been a lot of penises this year. Good. A penisance. A penisance. Good. Yeah. Yeah, the penis is so back. <laughs> Glenn's really happy about it. <laughs> very happy about I think it. I think, it's, I think it's well overdue that yeah. we have a penisance mm -hmm. because we've been showing other stuff for a long time and it's time to show those dicks, guys. It's yeah. time to get your dicks out, out and show everybody what you've got. We are America, sweetheart. And we carry our country with us wherever we go. USA, 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 USA. Big theme in this episode, obviously, is, uh, is patriotism, right? Uh-huh. Do you guys consider yourselves uh, patriots? Are you proud of this country? <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. I love this country. So yeah. do I. So do I. Good. I'm glad we established that. All right, let's do it. Let's talk about let's talk about God and let's talk about how you're gonna make me more bigger. Will you put the pen down? And this a well-placed pen can have quite an effect on a man like him. <laughs> this must have given him quite the thrill. I bet he tried to suck on this. Did he? Huh? It's okay, Doc. You can tell me he's always sucking on the pens in our apartment. Glenn, how many times have you masturbated? <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, uh, no comment. How many times? You're not gonna dignify that question. <laughs> I'm not gonna dignify that. <laughs> is it between you zero you and- Daniel Day-Lewis wouldn't zero... say, he just wouldn't say. Daniel Day-Lewis- Is it between would, zero and five? Leave the zoo. How yes, long I mean, you been the, there? The today? Riverside. <laughs> I just got, I, I got in last night. Oh, so it's, it's, it's between one and three. <laughs> Relax. Relax. <laughs> now, the first step to any erotic conquest is to D, demonstrate your value. You move on to E, engage physically. Which brings me to the first N, nurturing dependence. If you've completed all the other steps properly up to this point, she'll naturally want to take the relationship to the next level, but you're not going to do that. You're going to do the exact opposite. Pull back, guys, pull back. Which brings me to the second N, neglect emotionally inspire hope she thinks she's broken through my tough exterior and coerced affection from a man who was afraid to love and then i slink out into the night never to talk to her again the the real story is uh we started dating and she was like six months out of a <clears throat> six-year relationship so she was like just not uh, ready to be in a relationship. And I could tell, and she pretty much told me as much. And I had been single for like three years. And 
you know, wasn't like trying to get in a relationship. But when I met her, I was like, oh, this isn't the kind of girl that I just want to date. Like I, this is like serious girlfriend, possibly marrying material. And she just wasn't ready for that. So we dated for like, I don't know, three weeks. And then I actually called it off because I was like, I don't want to just date you and this feels weird and I feel like it's you know like we're we're just like it was a dynamic that wasn't quite working and I was like I don't this wanna... is a good move this is a Howerton special you saw that she was gonna do it first Dennis and, and you said no you said no you knew you saw the writing on the wall and you were like this woman is yes. great she's gonna tell me to fuck off what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell her to fuck off first well yes uh, but it was also you know uh, wow. it, I did mm -hmm. I was Mind aware mm. I was aware in the back of my head that like I was doing something Arguably sort of impressive. <laughs> walking away, walking away from a relationship. Oh, impressed by the this breakup. System. The sickness and anger inside of you is diabolical. Now, if somebody were to give you a, a paralytic, you know, a, a paralytic, a paralyzing drug of some kind and, and pop you on some quicksand and just slowly let you sink, that's pretty fucking diabolical. <laughs> I think that would work. <laughs> We drove Nikki Potnick's car into a tree on Kelly Drive. Man, we really did smash Nikki Potnick's car into a tree. So yeah, I, I, I miss you too, mm, but with the touching, with the touching, none of that. I enjoy touch, I think, more than even you guys. <laughs> the, definitely more than well, you. I'm, I'm a hugger. I'm fine with a mutually accepted uh, yes. touch situation. It's when it comes it, out it, of nowhere. It's more when it comes out of nowhere. I just am easily I'm... startled. You know, I'm like a, you oh. know, like a... Like a muskrat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm more ready to scramble than I am to try. <laughs> yes. Guys, my mom has lung cancer. Oh, God. You know, how, geez, that's just terrible. What the hell is that, dude? That didn't sound very genuine. No. S sorry, what was I supposed to do? Oh, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? Are you screwing with me right now? No, I'm sorry. I think the cancer thing, for whatever reason, just not, you know, it's just not grabbing me right now. I also think there's something interesting about empathy that's not necessarily, like, intellectual. Like, if you- Wait, wait, wait explain empathy to Glenn. <laughs> To sort of break it down, like, <laughs> like what the what the feelings are, and let's. <laughs> okay, so for most normal, I've humans, heard the like, word. I mean, I've heard the word. I yeah. just that's a that's a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I have a little bit Save of. Save it. I'm not problem. pregnant. I was just drinking. I mean, like on the weekends, but not every night like I do now. No, we weren't getting hammered or anything like that. We should do that more though this season. Well, season again, fifteen. You know, there's the alcoholic and you speaking. Rob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah, he yeah. is. Do we need there he to is. He's there. Can we not move past the fact that <laughs> in order to be able to tell yourself that you only have one drink a night, you d you yeah. basically make like twice the size of a normal Manhattan. Maybe three times. I'll take a picture of it and put it on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, I take it to the brim. What's wrong? Come on, open it. It's locked. All right, let me try this out. What is that, your apartment key? Yeah, I see it's been worse. Does that even work? Why not? We're not at your apartment, shithead. Well, how many possible lock combinations oh, can there be? Oh, so dude? many, dude. Like, well, hundreds eventually of Eventually, they're going to overlap. They're not ever going to. No, you know what? You're right. It's not working. Oh, no shit. No it was shit. Worth, it was worth a try. It's not worth a try. Well, uh, the key and that, thing, I think, was my, was my idea. Oh, it may have been. Because I, mm -hmm. I just remember thinking it was so dumb someone would try their own keys, but also, like, kind of Kind of made sense. Kind of, yeah, made, made just enough sense that you're like, well, I guess it's worth a try. I think what Max is trying to say is that it's probably, like, the greatest movie of all time. It's because it is. Four is not the greatest movie of all time. Yes, it is. What movie is most likely to make Rob cry? Uh, here's what I wrote. I wrote, Ro I wrote Rocky because it's the first thing that popped into my head. But what I would say hmm. is that my- Rocky's gonna make you cry? That movie makes you cry. Yeah, Rocky makes me cry, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. If I think dude. about it and talk about it too much, I'll probably start crying, so I'm not gonna do that. I might not be feeling too well all of a sudden. <gasps> Wait a second, Dennis, I, I feel like there's a little bit of pollen in the air. Pollen? You didn't tell me there was to be pollen today. I, I I can't do pollen. I don't do pollen. Well, you could really see the dust in the air, though, couldn't you? Did you guys see that? You guys pick up on that? I, I, that's, of course, where my, my, my brain goes. Too dusty. I walked on the stage, and I was just like, ooh, what am I breathing? Mm. What am I breathing? Look that was my subtle. first thought. Tatiana, I want you to clean yourself, for I will enter you hard and deep. And it will last for as long or as short as I please. But you will be clean. Only when you are clean will you know my power. It's gotta be clean. It's gotta be pure if it wants to get inside my body. But the only reason you got laid is because you dated freshmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've always had that creepy thing with younger girls. I do not. And Glenn, high school for you, you were you were like middle of the pack. You like got a lot of friends, not so many friends. Uh, 
I had I I was got I was, the girls. What were not was not getting the girls. When Glenn was a senior in high school, his girlfriend was a freshman. No, that's not true. She was a sophomore. Sophomore. Girl, I was close, pretty close. Yeah. We win the level. We, we, we have great bubbles. We get the card. We, get the card. we, we win level great three. bubble. Level three now. Level, they're, they're still inside. Yeah, they give up. Get to the bedroom. 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 Get to the According to my calculations, we have Rob with 10 and a half points, Glenn's got 13 points, and Charlie has 13 and a half points. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck that. That's bullshit. <laughs> Fuck this. Make sure your compost pile gets plenty of air. Now, oh, you're Sandra. More to your pile, Dumb bitch. <laughs> I didn't cause any damage, yes, Dennis. Did. Yeah, not to the exterior of my car, but to the interior of my car, my interior is ruined. Guys, so I'm sitting at a red light at a dead stop, and Frank rams into me out of nowhere. And now he's saying he's not gonna pay for the damages. None of the damages were my fault. It sounds like all of the damages were your fault. I mean, Frank, how are we yeah, even talking about this? Dennis was office. eating a bowl of cereal. What? He was eating a bowl of cereal when I hit him. And it spilled all over the interior. And those are the only damages to the car. You're eating a bowl of cereal? Yes. While you were driving? Yes. It's not that crazy. That's not what this is about. Well, it's a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, there's a high I'm spill factor mm -hmm. if you're driving Actually, a it's a lot about that. Well, come on. It's the, you know, I don't have to justify myself to you. Yeah, sometimes I'm upset and I'm all fired mm -hmm. up. And like, you were fired mm -hmm. up about the cereal thing. You were fired up about it. You were genuinely upset. You and I were amused. My car was destroyed. Sure. You and I were amused by how upset he was. That's a fun, Not about that's a fun thing to walk into, right? My car was destroyed, and I come in upset about it. My friends are laughing at me. Well, well, it's funny. Let's, well, can we please clarify that? Yeah, let's There's clarify. Nothing funny no about, one was hurt. Nothing's funny one. about the fact that your car was destroyed. What's funny is that you were eating cereal while driving your car. It's just an amusing thing. Yeah. It, it, it was also the way that we found yes. out. It would have been just as amusing if you had said, I got in a horrible car accident. We're like, oh, that's terrible. You were like, yeah, I was in the middle of crocheting this beautiful sweater. Like, no, wait, you were crocheting no. a sweater and driving a car? Like, like, yes, but that's not why I got into the accident. So, but, and so, you were very specifically upset about the fact that the <laughs> interior of your car was destroyed, not so, the exterior. The, the exterior got pretty banged up too. I'm but it sure. Was, it, was the that, uh, it was the but that's fixable. The interior. If you came in and you were like, "I got rear-ended," no one's laughing at you, right? But that's what happened. I know. But what you then continued to tell the story, and as you were telling the story, you were like, "Yeah," and the fucking whole interior is ruined too. And we were like, "Whoa, I, you must have gotten completely totaled." And you're like, "Well, no. I mean, like, I got to get all the vents cleaned because, like, all the all the milk, all the milk and cereal went into the vents and the air conditioning ducts." And we were like, like whoa, 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 "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! What milk? What cereal? What, what, what are you what? talking yeah, about?" Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I was interested. Okay, okay. Uh, I just killed three very large rats that were stuck in glue traps. Good work. No, right? no, no. That's not good. I am done with rat detail. That's by far the worst job in the bar. That's why we call it Charlie work. No, no, dude, not Charlie work. There's like an emotional toll that comes out of this. Oh my God, I just found a rat's nest. Slaughtered about 200 of them. <laughs> 200? Oh, Couldn't be. That's Christ. Uh, it's like, it's like whole generations of those things have died in my hands. And Guys, you remember um, that, where that rat thing was coming from? Mm -mm. No. So I had so many rats in my house. Oh, yeah, they you were had, getting in yes, my house. You had oh, real rats. <laughs> I, yeah, you had to bat. I remember uh, very distinctly you yeah, having to bat. I do remember but, that. But you, you it, had it, a good it, system. Oh, yeah, oh how did man. You I don't remember. I, I was pretty ruthless in the day, and I, I, it haunts me. We're getting older. We're not going to look 20 forever. No, I am going to look 20 forever, Mac, because the older I get, the more vigilant I become. All right, I don't eat lunch anymore, for instance. Yeah, and on odd days, I don't eat breakfast. That sounds miserable. No, dude, it's not miserable. Well, yeah, it is a little bit miserable, but it has to be, man. No pain, no gain. You don't look dramatically different. No, you don't look dramatically different. It's it's kind of weird. I haven't done dramatic things to myself, you know? Like, I That's haven't, true. like, uh, gained a dramatic amount of weight. Or starved uh, yourself. Or... Silly for years. Yeah. I can't, I don't have the discipline. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You gotta have discipline to starve yourself, guys. It's not easy. It hurts. Yeah. Yeah, so I bet. You, I bet because your body's dying. Check this out. Go, go, go. 
Oh! Any more? That's it, but that's pretty wide, right? So here we go. Let's see how low we can go. You know... I don't think I can go any lower than that, otherwise I think I'm seriously gonna hurt myself. But that's pretty low. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. I've had a tea egg before. I've had a tea egg, which was an egg that You're was kidding. boiled in tea, and it was delicious. It tasted, it tasted like, like tea? tea? Yeah. Very good. You're blowing my mind. I've never heard of that. A tea egg? Yes, yes. What is this? It's a, it's, a, it's from the other cultures, man. Who's, who, who's, what culture? Japan. Oh. And Chinese. Chinese. Uh, Ch Chinese. Okay. <laughs> I don't really. I don't know. Chinese tea eggs. Ch yes. Chinese mm -hmm. tea eggs. And then my do God. they... Will you find it simmered in a savory liquid with star simmered? anise? Well, that's why you sticks and peppercorns. <laughs> star anise. But uh, do they peel the egg before they boil it? Uh, that's what we need to know. No, you can't peel it before you, you peel boil it. Before, before, before you boil, boil it. <laughs> <laughs> if you peel an egg before you boil it. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying?